梅酒梅酒オープニング誰 ?Is that a yakitori skewer? <laughs> yes, I grabbed it from over there. 梅 old fashioned. So, do you want to try it? Yes, of course. Hey, Aki Gang, Yakitori Guy here. It's been over one year, and today I'm finally going to open up my homemade umeshu. And today I'm joined by Stella and Spice. She is a food content creator who shares with us her recipes from her childhood growing up in a Mexican and Korean household. But she also lived in Japan, so she's had plenty of yakitori as well. I've also been a bartender for over 10 years, and I've actually never had umeshu, so I'm really excited to make a cocktail with it that'll pair really well with yakitori. That's what I want. All right, let's get this open. So tell me about this umeshu. How did you make it? When did you、mm -hmm. make it? Yeah, so umeshu is made using basically these unripe plums. Oh, and you guys can go back to my original video on how to make it, but let me explain quickly on this. So umeshu is made from taking these unripened plums, have rock sugar, and you also have some sort of alcohol, liquor. It could be vodka, but traditionally it is made with shochu. And for this one, I actually used. Nankai Shochu. This is one of my favorite brands of Shochu. But simply put, it is just clear liquor flavored by the fruit aroma of the ume. And also, the sweetness is gonna come from the rock sugar, which it looks like it melted. But. Alright, so immediately. Wait, did you already taste it? No, but it <laughs> smells really、okay. good. So immediately, the smell、um, is very sweet, right? It's, it's just sweet. A, yeah, very syrupy, sweet. This. It's definitely, I know it didn't get bad, it didn't get funky because it, it smells like what umeshi is supposed to smell like. So, and all this color, it used to be clear, but all this color did come from the ume. And I bottled this on May 20th, 2021, so over a year ago, basically a year and a month ago. And I'm excited to try this. It smells really good. It smells really, really good. All right, so this is not a shooter, this is definitely a sipper. Let's try this first, k a n p a i Oh. Oh. oh, I like that. It's、Wait. like sweet, but not like.、Um, it's not overly sweet, and it doesn't have that same. The viscosity seems a little different from most liquors, but it doesn't coat your tongue with the sweetness. So the、like、store bought umeshu is a little bit, yeah, the, the higher viscosity, like it's like thicker, but I'm even looking at it and it's not really sticking on to the、mm -hmm. side. So it's, it's definitely a little bit lighter. It could just be maybe the difference of using rock sugar versus perhaps maybe the store bought one. Maybe they're using like maybe kind of a syrup or something that's not pure sugar. So, what would you want to mix this with? For example, in, in Japan, we'll drink this usually on the rocks, maybe soda. Pretty simple, but it, it sounds like this could be a good. Base to start to make a cocktail. So I'm kind of curious with your thoughts. This tastes like it'd be really good with just some soda, like really simple on ice. What I want to try to do is make,、um, what would you call it, an ume old fashioned? Okay. Maybe. So instead of using whiskey, we're still going to use a little bit of whiskey, but I'm going to do、um, three parts of the ume shoe and one part whiskey and then make the old fashioned the way you would normally make it. That sounds delicious. Let's get to it. Okay, so always start an old fashioned with a real sugar cube, no syrup. So that goes into the glass. Going to dash a little bit of bitters. I like a lot of bitters in mine, usually three or four dashes. That was like five, so that's okay. Going to need a little bit of soda water to break this down. I got that, I got that. We have different flavors. Can we use grapefruit, lime, or orange? Lemon? Anything not flavored? Topo Chico is okay. Oh, yeah, that is, but you want to waste the whole one? Sponsored by Topo Chico now. <laughs> Soda water. Soda water, just a little bit. You don't need that much. Just going to swirl this around a little bit, let it break down. Okay. Then we don't have a real muddler, but I'm just going to muddle this down until it's dissolved. Until you have a nice, almost looks like a. Syrup, like that. Okay, now I need a whiskey, preferably、uh, bourbon or rye, nothing peaty, not a scotch or anything like that. So I have Japanese whiskeys here. <laughs> not a scotch, but scotch style. Let me see. Okay, it's Taketsuru. So Taketsuru, Mr. Taketsuru, he is the godfather of 
Japanese whiskey. This will be fine. It works. So normally it's about a two ounce pour of this. Since I'm gonna do three to one, I'm only going to do a half ounce of this. So there's a half ounce. And for the rest, I'm going to do the umeshu, about an ounce and three quarters. So that's about an ounce and three quarters. Some ice. We don't have the big ice blocks, but we're gonna make this work. Sorry, I only have regular ice here. <laughs> that should be good. Mix this around. And then last, we're gonna need an orange peel. There's that. And with the orange peel, there are some oils in here. You just want to express it over the drink. Yeah, the Bring the glass and yeah. one more thing. I brought some cherries Ooh. that we can add to it. There you go. And huh. that's it. Is that a yakitori skewer? <laughs> yes, I grabbed it from over there. <laughs> that is our ume old fashioned. So, do you want to try it? Yes, of course. You can smell the orange. Should I be mixing the cherries in? Um, I usually don't. Okay. Um, you could just eat it. I usually eat it last. Okay. Umeshu. Mainly smell the orange. So good. How much of the whiskey can you taste? It's a mix of basically the whiskey and umeshu. So I want to call it like a very aromatic, like fruity aromatic whiskey. That sounds good. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, very sweet. <laughs> Alright, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's quick umeshi video. Got the drinks ready. Got the yakitori grilling outside. So let's go outside and eat some yakitori. Earlier in the day, before recording this video, we went to the local Mexican meat market to grab things to grill along with yakitori. Follow my stories on Instagram if you're interested in these behind the scenes day to day content. Cheers! Oh my god, that's a bee. That's a bee. Oh, don't move, don't move, don't move. I'm like so afraid okay, okay, of bees. Okay, 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 just, just don't move. <laughs> wait, 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 stay, stay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna scare it. I freaking hate bees. All right, yeah, we'll just let it be. Probably the orange, right? Like oh, the, shoot, like the, right. like the, uh, the yeah, yeah. zest, orange, is like kind of it's in the air. It's all, there's like multiple, it's, I think it's the orange. It's gotta be. 